The boys of summer are on their way, and it is just about time for the Major League Baseball 2020 season. And today, we're going to take a look at the Z-Code System Major League Baseball 2020 preview as we gear up for opening day on March 26th. This will be the earliest ever opening day to the Major League Baseball season. So guys, welcome back to Z-Code System and we hope you are getting ready for the season and enjoying spring training because it's going on right now down in Florida and in Arizona. Now, you can stay up to date with Z-Code System all Major League Baseball season long by just subscribing to the YouTube page here and hitting like as well. We'd love you to do that, to like our videos. And you can also go over to the Z-Code System blog and read up all season long with previews for the games that are going on, as well as sign up and get the VIP picks and use all of the Z-Code system tools to help you with your Major League Baseball betting. So guys, good luck this season. We're going to be right there with you watching along and playing along and wagering along with the Major League Baseball season. So here we go with our 2020 preview. A lot of things going on in the off season here. Not all good uh, things, that is, as we prepare for the season. And right now, let's start off by giving you the top futures odds for the World Series winners. And you can see right there the New York Yankees, as almost always, clockwork, getting that first pick from leading sports books. They are plus 350 to win the World Series. And they've made some uh, some good additions to the team this season. And with the Boston Red Sox looking like they're going to be regressing after making two big trades to send off Mookie Betts as well as David Price. It looks like the Yankees uh, are the team that are going to win that Eastern Division, the AL East. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult for them to lift that uh, lift that title there in the division. But we'll have to see what happens. They get the nod from sportsbooks at plus three fifty. Now, the uh, the National League West, LA Dodgers getting plus four hundred. They are second best to win the World Series this year, and they've made some very significant additions. And from Boston Red Sox, they picked up David Price and Mookie Betts, making them an even better team than they already were. And they go in as the favorites to win the National League. And they're going to be a very good team this year making those trades. Houston, plus 600. We know all about Houston this offseason because of the Houston sign-stealing scandal that has gone on. Now, if you follow baseball, which I'm assuming you do after watching, uh, because you're watching this video, you know all about that sign stealing scandal. And I don't want to go into it, but um, it could have an, a significant effect on Houston playing this season because everywhere that they go on the road, they're going to be um, they're going to be hated and they're going to be picked on by all those fans. And you know, it, we're going to just have to see how they react to this sign stealing scandal. I think they'll be fine in the end, and I think they'll be uh, right around the playoff positions, and uh, they should qualify for the playoffs. Back over into the National League, we go to the National League East, where the Land Braves are the fourth favorite to win the World Series at plus 1,200. Now, the, uh, the Braves play in what I deem as the most difficult division in baseball, that NL East. Last season, you had five NL East teams finishing above 500, the Braves, the Phillies, the Nats, and the New York Mets, all finishing over 500. The Marlins were the only team not to do it in the division. That was the only division, the NL East, to in Major League Baseball to have that many teams over 500. Now, these teams are going to probably beat up on each other. Some have made some upgrades. Uh, the Mets are the Mets, of course, and uh, the Braves have made a few upgrades. Uh, I believe the Phillies have as well, and they should be improved, but I believe their pitching staff is not very good going into the, uh, well, not in spring training at the moment, and they need to, to really build around that. But I digress. Washington, the reigning World Series winners, they won it last season, uh, beating the Astros in the World Series, an unlikely uh, World Series champion because the Dodgers were expected by many to 
represent the National League. They're plus 1,400. And the AL Central Minnesota Twins also plus 1,400. And the Cardinals plus 1,600. So uh, some good odds there for these teams. These are the top odds uh, from leading sports books for the futures of the World Series as we go through spring training. Now, taking a look at um, not getting to that just yet, uh, the rule changes, but uh, a couple of the teams that you might wonder where they sit in the odds. Uh, the New York Mets plus 2,000 right now going uh, right now in spring training. New York Mets, the team, my team, uh, unfortunately, just not good enough. I don't see them. Uh, I see them maybe fighting for a wild card playoff spot, but uh, with a new manager after Mickey Callaway was sacked at the end of last season, I don't really see them making the playoffs. Uh, the Chicago Cubs and the Boston Red Sox are both plus 2,500 to win the World Series, and I don't really see those two teams making it into the playoffs. The Red Sox, a team that could surprise everybody, but I'm not really sure about that. The AL East, I don't think is going to be that strong of a division, and uh, the Red Sox trading away their two prized assets at the uh, during this offseason. Now, let's take a look at one of the things that's been a big talking point this offseason, other than the Houston Astros, and that is the rule changes for 2020. I've picked out three rule changes, and of course, these rule changes are there to speed up gameplay. As you know, of course, if you're watching this, you must follow Major League Baseball, and you'll know that, again, last season, Major League Baseball attendances were down once more, and it is believed that things such as gameplay and the speed of play is playing into that and keeping people from going to games. Of course, it can't be the ticket prices. It's got to be the speed of the game. So we've had these rule changes and the perhaps the most significant one definitely to speed up the game. And so let's get to that one right now. And that is the three batter minimum. Now, managers can no longer swap out their pitchers uh, in and out in an inning. So each pitcher must throw to three consecutive batters or pitch to the end of a half inning. So this is going to be a major impact on betting because it is a major impact on the strategy of baseball that managers have. We've seen in the past managers going to the mound multiple times in an inning and swapping out their pitchers to get pitcher-batter matchups. That is going to be a thing of the past. Um, managers, as I've written here, will not be able to save. Uh, a pitcher in a jam cannot be saved by their manager, and you're going to see perhaps a lot more high-scoring innings uh, coming up. So this could definitely affect your overs and your unders when you're betting. If you've got pitchers who are coming in and um, managers are going to be, the uh, offensive manager is going to be able to make tactical changes that suit him better than the defensive uh, manager is going to be able to do that. So this is definitely something that's going to favor the offensive team. So definitely watch out for those over-unders this year coming up with baseball. I think this is such a significant rule change because it takes a lot of the tactics away from managers. Now, moving on, one that probably won't be too much of an impact or make too much of an impact on your betting, and that's the squad size. The roster size of major league teams has been expanded to 26 rather than 25, uh, and in September, this will increase again. Now, this gives a manager one more option off the bench so he could perhaps carry one more uh, batter who can come off the bench, uh, perhaps um, they will be able to carry another position player, specific position player. There is a cap on the number of pitchers that can be taken, uh, be used this year on a roster, as well as you're not going to be able to see position players take to the hill in certain situations, uh, perhaps in blowouts and things like that. So they've changed some of the rules um, rules surrounding the players and the rosters. Now, back to the pitchers here. Pitchers will be placed uh, when they're on the injured list. They must spend a minimum of 15 days off, and this is changing from the 10-day minimum. This will perhaps keep pitchers out and uh, able to rebound from injuries better, perhaps have less uh, long layoffs in the future. 
future uh, long layoffs in the future, that is. And this could also play into the fact that if you have a very good starting pitcher, he may be out for multiple starts rather than maybe missing one start. He may be out for a few starts. And uh, this could definitely play into the the form of a team going forward and whether or not they are able to continue winning games and uh, you know winning you bets and winning you money on your bets uh, on those teams. So let's take a look at who will win the World Series. And I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be the Los Angeles Dodgers. I really like what the Dodgers have done picking up Mookie Betts and David Price. And I think that NL East that I talked about earlier, I think they're going to beat up on each other. They're going to take wins away from each other. And in the end, you could see some of those teams struggling once we get to the World Series, possibly players um, not being the healthiest there because they've worked so hard in that NL East. But I think the Dodgers are the cream of the crop there um, in the National League. Now, the Yankees, of course, they are favored right now by sportsbooks. A good, a good team, but the additions that the Dodgers have made, they've been near winning the World Series the last few years. They've come up just short, but this season now with Price and with bets, they get pushed over the edge there, and I'm picking the Dodgers to win the World Series. Of course, we haven't even started the season, and we've got 162 games before we even get to the playoffs, so a lot can change. Now, don't forget to go over to Z-Code System and sign up today to get the best systems on the internet for baseball betting in 2020 and to use all of the tools that we have there, and you can improve your chances of winning profits on baseball betting. So guys, get over there and get on to that. It's spring training. I hope you're enjoying spring training and you're following all of the baseball action. The games are going to be coming up soon with uh, spring training and opening day. Like I said earlier, is just around the corner, March 26th, the earliest of any opening day in Major League Baseball. And looking at my watch right now, we are just over a month away from that opening day. So guys, good luck with all your baseball betting and we'll be back regularly on the Zico System blog to give you our picks and predictions for Major League Baseball games this year. We'll see you soon, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and we'll see you soon.